Hello and welcome to another Last Week in Model Railways brought to you by Double O Rail. Uh, this week we'll be taking a look back in the world of Model Railways and this covers uh, Saturday, November 7th through Friday, November 13th. Um, so basically uh, last week was our uh, very first episode and it was uh, very well received so we're going to uh, continue to do this on a regular basis. Uh, just remember if you'd like us to take a look at your channel uh, first of all, subscribe to the uh, Double O Rail channel, and you can find that at uh, youtube.com slash double O Rail 77, or you can visit www.doubleorail.com and find the channel that way. Now, remember, if you want us to um, look at particular content, uh, you need to contact us, so uh, please feel free to uh, send an email to uh, locoshed at double O Rail.com. And if we do feature you in this uh, video, uh, we'd appreciate it if you maybe could give us a uh, shout out on your channel uh, to take a look at this video or at least uh, share the video um, on uh, YouTube, Facebook and any other uh, social media that you use. Uh, the more folks that uh, see this, then the more often you post to YouTube, uh, the more likely uh, you'll get an increase in users. Okay, so with uh, that in mind, uh, let's uh, take a look at what happened this week. So uh, first up, we're going to take a look at what we did on DoubleOrail.com. So um, first of all, we uh, brought out a video called Introducing Kids to Mall Railways. And here you can see uh, my two-year-old son, uh, Owen, is uh, having a pretty good time uh, controlling uh, up to uh, five trains on the main DoubleOrail layout. Uh, it's a pretty cool video, so uh, go check it out. It's a bit of a running session and uh, it might give you some ideas on uh, how to uh, introduce kids to mall railways and uh, how to uh, introduce them to the hobby. Um, on Wednesday, uh, we, we produced our uh, fourth rendition of Loco Works Wednesday. Uh, this was a couple of different uh, detail repairs. Here you can see we were repairing a uh, Class 20 uh, Bachman uh, diesel and had a, a broken buffer. Um, we also uh, did a repair on a HST and uh, added details to a uh, BDA um, bogey booster. So uh, that video is uh, worth checking out. And then uh, finally, um, today we uploaded a video featuring uh, King George V. Uh, this is a, a newly acquired uh, King locomotive. It's a uh, class uh, 6000. Uh, GWR loco and it's a fantastic uh, loco and this one happened to be uh, custom weathered uh, so I hope you enjoyed seeing that going around and uh, the uh, layout all right so uh, that's what really happened on double rail so let's uh, take a look at what else so the big news story for the week was that uh, Hornby had arrived in stock the King class uh, locomotives. So uh, we had uh, King James the first in uh, GWR livery, that's a uh, six thousand class. And uh, we also had in BR livery uh, King Edward the eighth, and it looks like King Richard second. And uh, the King Richard second had uh, TTS sound, and of course we had. Uh, in Bior livery, uh, King George V and uh, early Bior as it's preserved. Uh, so those are worth uh, checking out, and we should see more of those on YouTube shortly. Um, Helgen also uh, kicked out quite a few locos, and uh, we'll take a look at those when we uh, look at the Hatton's uh, releases. Um, Rapido Trains announced that they will be at Worley. Uh, I think they're going to have their own booth, and it looks like they're going to be making a couple of announcements. And this loco here could well be their next double O uh, model, or maybe it's not. So uh, if you want to take a look, uh, go to rapidotrains.com, and they have a whole uh, bunch of things going on there uh, to check out on the run-up to uh, Worley. So we're hoping for some big things there. So speaking of events, um, this weekend, the Spalding Mall Railway Club, or sorry, Spalding Mall Railway Club, um, have a exhibition uh, so there's about 37 layouts various demos traders free parking and a restaurant and that starts uh, today Saturday at uh, 10 a.m. and runs until uh, 5 p.m. and then again on Sunday and I believe Bachman are going to be there so it's a, a good opportunity to uh, see what's happening there and maybe uh, get some uh, news from Bachman or at least an opportunity to talk to them 
Another exhibition that we mentioned last week is the uh, Newcastle uh, exhibition, and that's going on this weekend. So hopefully uh, somebody will go to that and we'll see some uh, video. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, two we mentioned last week, which was uh, Hull and the Isle of uh, Wight, we haven't been able to find any video for those. So uh, hopefully uh, this week we'll find somebody who will upload video of both of these uh, fine exhibitions. Uh, on Steam Tours, uh, like I mentioned last week, the London Explorer should have um, some Steam attached to it. So you can go visit UKSteam.info uh, for some more information there. Uh, it looks like the uh, Capital Christmas Express, uh, which was supposed to run to London Waterloo, has been cancelled. Uh, but it looks like the uh, Cathedral's Express and the Oxfordshire Explorer look like they'll still be running next weekend. Uh, so it's a chance to uh, go out and perhaps see those. And um, finally, um, like we mentioned earlier, Worley National 2015, uh, which is on Saturday the 28th of November and Sunday the 29th of November uh, at the NEC in Birmingham. Uh, this particular show is uh, one of the bigger shows uh, run throughout the year in the UK. And it looks like they haven't increased their prices for the tickets. And it's uh, guaranteed to be a fantastic show. And, of course, the folks at Rapido Trains will be making some announcements there as well. So, uh, now we're going to take a quick look at the highlights this week at YouTube. Uh, first off, I wanted to point out uh, Ian Pool Trains. Uh, this is one of our uh, prototype videos of the week. And uh, Ian does a fantastic job with his uh, train spotting and some fantastic videos. Uh, so, his channel is well worth uh, looking at. And uh, this week... Uh, he captured captured uh, some steam, which I think this is the uh, Duchess of Sutherland, and um, his channel is well worth checking out. So that's uh, Ian Pool Trains, and uh, go over and uh, give him a shout out, and perhaps let him know you saw his channel here at Double Rail. So uh, next up, we're going to take a look at some of the uh, exhibition videos that were uploaded this week. Uh, first off, uh, there was a uh, halt whistle. And this was the, the Model Rail 2015. Uh, I took a look at this video and uh, it was very, very nice. And uh, there's some fantastic layouts there. And so it's uh, definitely well worth a look. And so you can find there uh, this uh, Trailblazer 65. And um, then we also have the uh, Twickenham Mall Railway Club, uh, which uh, was episode six, which is uh, present day Northwick. And uh, you can find uh, more of this over at uh, WCML 100. And uh, it was well, well worth checking out some uh, fine looking layouts there. So uh, finally, uh, there was the uh, L East London uh, Fine Scale Exhibition. Uh, this was uploaded by SP Rail. So uh, go check out his channel. Uh, it's uh, some fantastic video. And of course, SP Rail does a fantastic job. Uh, if you want to see exhibitions, uh, you should check out his channel. And uh, not just uh, to look at the exhibitions, but also to get some ideas for your layout. So, uh, you can find all of these videos on our playlist. And we're starting with uh, last weekend. So, um, first up, we had Everett Junction, who was uh, doing part 11 of his uh, Building a Model Railway. And he shows us how he does track weathering. Uh, Willow FS 4472 uh, gave us a couple of great videos uh, showing the Great Southern Steam Up. Uh, this particular video is part three, and you can find the previous parts as well as I think one more part uh, over on his channel. And like I said, we have a uh, playlist which we'll put a card to in the video uh, so that you can get to it very easily. And uh, next up, we had Australia 1957T, and here he had a bit of a running session, uh, some LMS, uh, GWR. And uh, this is part one, and I think there's a few more videos to this, so go check out his channel. Uh, over the weekend, we also had uh, Farland How, which is uh, Rob McCrane's uh, layout, and uh, today he had the uh, Holland Africa came out to uh, play, and it's a great Merchant Navy locomotive, and uh, well worth checking out his layout. And of course, uh, Rob is here with us in the United States, so uh, it's in our uh, American uh, based uh, layout and uh, we had uh, Mike's movies now Mike was uh, very active this week had a couple of great uh, videos and uh, this one was a LMS car uh, coronation class uh, 462 streamlined in a Crimson Lake livery and he had some other videos as well so uh, go check out his channel uh, always uh, high quality and of course I'm uh, a good friend Mark here over at Western Centurion 
Uh, very pleased for him. He finally finished his garage. Uh, so he can now go focus on building a layout. So um, if you enjoyed his uh, fantastic DIY uh, videos, I'm sure you're going to enjoy more of his mall railway videos over the next couple of weeks and months. Um, we also have uh, Doug. He had uh, a nice running session with some mixed traffic uh, or at Northeast Mall Railway. And you can see here, uh, he's got a fantastic layout and uh, very, very nice uh, scenics. And it's uh, definitely uh, well worth a look. And once again, you can find these videos in the playlist, uh, which there's a card for. And finally, uh, over the weekend, we had uh, a Bachman, Whistle, and Chef Thomas in Hito Scale Review. And uh, this is a uh, guy's channel that's uh, well worth checking out. He has some uh, fantastic videos. Uh, he's over here in the States as well. And uh, this one gives you a good look at the uh, Thomas set. Now, my son has this, and it's a uh, pretty good buy. And finally, over the weekend, uh, Rails of Sheffield had a couple of new additions. You can see there, uh, Flying Scotsman and a couple other Tornado and uh, some uh, Class 55s, uh, the um, Deltic, so as well as some DCC gear. So it's uh, well worth checking out their website to see what else came in over the week. And then on to Monday. So on Monday, um, Ash took a look at DCC. Decoders as a kind of a 5,000 subscriber thank you. Uh, hopefully at some point I'll get to 5,000 subscribers. But in the meantime, uh, go check out Ash's channel and uh, say hi. And he's got some fantastic videos there. Um, Five Elms is finally back. This guy has a fantastic uh, layout. And so I'm very pleased that he's uh, decided to come back and uh, produce some good videos. So he gives a bit of a layout update and uh, a little bit of information on what to expect from this channel to come. Following on from there, uh, Hornby had a promotional video for the uh, Blue Rapier train set. Uh, I know this particular train set's got a bit of a bad rap from a couple of other YouTubers, but uh, I think you'll find the set's pretty okay, and uh, for the money, it's uh, it's well worth checking out. So uh, go take a look. We've got some pretty good deals going on right now. Uh, we also have uh, Harbor Motion. Uh, he had a couple of fantastic uh, track cam videos, and you can see here, a uh, pretty good screenshot of it. I believe this is either a, a some sort of European locomotive, maybe it's German. Um, you can uh, find out more by watching the video, I guess. Um, but hopefully uh, you'll enjoy it. It's got some uh, pretty good shots. Um, we also had a video um, for the uh, South Devon uh, Railway Diesel Gala. Uh, since this was a uh, pretty good video, I decided to throw it in here as well, uh, even though it wasn't uh, the prototypical video of the week. Uh, it was pretty close, uh, so I thought it was well worth a bit of a mention. All right, and uh, here we have uh, what came into Hatton's uh, on Monday. So you can take a quick look and we'll uh, let the background music uh, walk you through it. Each one of these screenshots is about six seconds. So it should give you enough if you want to pause to look at it. Otherwise, it should be uh, enough to give you an idea of what's coming this week. And uh, now some of this stuff may no longer be in stock. And I did take the screenshots um, on the day in question. So uh, you may find that some of these are, are no longer available. Uh, best way is to go check out uh, ehattons.com. Okay, so on Tuesday, uh, Southway 1943 took a quick look at the uh, CMX uh, cleaning wagon and Pico track rubber, uh, both fantastic products, and he does a pretty good job reviewing it, so it's uh, well worth checking out. Uh, you can also find our video on uh, CMX uh, track cleaning by uh, searching the Double Rail channel. Uh, Jenny Kirk took a look at the Oxford Rail 7 Plank and Tipping Goods wagon. 
and they're pretty good quality and uh, she thought that they were fantastic uh, for the price so um, thank you Jenny for the review and we've gone ahead and ordered a couple so uh, based on your advice so hopefully uh, we're looking forward to those um, JLW2 um, 2000 um, he did a bit of a uh, layout tour he's got a fantastic uh, American layout and he's uh, had a bit of an update as well as some uh, competition information so it's uh, well worth uh, checking his channel out he always has some good reviews um, next up we had uh, Rapido Trains, uh, they're doing this uh, Icons of Steam, I believe it's uh, 12 steam locomotives over the next couple of years, uh, all based around I think uh, Canadian steam, and uh, they have some ma massive looking locomotives um, they were standing in front of, so uh, those look like uh, goodbyes. Uh, Stephen Rowe um, had a bit of a uh, Great Western running session down in Sydney, Australia. And it was uh, definitely uh, nice to see uh, what the Australian modelers were doing. So uh, it's definitely well worth uh, taking a look and seeing uh, what was going down in Sydney this week. On Wednesday, um, we had Ash again, and he was uh, taking a look at the NC Power Cab uh, DCC Mall Train Controller Startup Kit. Uh, he did a fantastic job reviewing it. It's a pretty cool piece of kit, so uh, if you're considering DCC, uh, go check it out. It's uh, well worth taking a look. Um, next up, we had uh, the MA, uh, sorry, the M and uh, CR uh, Railway, and they had a bit of a uh, Great Western uh, Hydraulic Heaven Diesel Gala. And you can see there they had some uh, really nice logos and his uh, layout's coming along very nicely. So uh, definitely well worth a look. And then of course um, we had Mike back again. I told you Mike was pretty active this week. Uh, this week he also took a look at the Midland Crab by Lima. And he showed us how he did some repairs and walked through some really good advice and some tips. And had a pretty nice running session. So uh, hats off to Mike and go check out his uh, video and some of his uh, other videos on his channel. Um, then the uh, crazy Russian guy, uh, he's, I think he's actually pretty close to me down in Cincinnati uh, here in Ohio. Uh, he had some fantastic video footage of uh, some, uh, I think it's a Pennsylvanian uh, steam locomotive. I believe this is a H10 and it's uh, doing some uh, local delivery across the layout. Um, and then of course I stumbled across this new channel, uh, Sam's Train, well at least it's uh, new to me, called Sam's Trains. And he has some fantastic videos, and this week he was reviewing uh, The Tornado by Hornby. Uh, so I'm not quite sure why he doesn't have more views, because his videos are great. So uh, go check it out, uh, you won't be, uh, won't be disappointed. Um, Hatton's had a bit of a delivery from uh, Dapol, so it's uh, well worth uh, checking out some of these wagons as well. Alright, so on Thursday we had a couple of layout updates and uh, those started with British Railways uh, 60163 and uh, he's working on a shelf layout and uh, this was uh, part 6 of that uh, shelf layout under the window and it's uh, come along very nicely, uh, well worth uh, checking out if you're limited on space. Um, Dave had some fantastic uh, useful tips uh, this week, uh, you can see here in the video he's got some uh, kind of... Uh, PCB connector type deal for uh, connecting um, I think it's up to 12 um, you know sections into the same uh, power input so uh, he also had some pretty nice disco lights as well um, and then finally uh, Kevin uh, from uh, Penwithers uh, he was at the Exeter uh, Garden Railway show recently and he uploaded some of this uh, fantastic footage uh, so if you didn't get a chance to check out that show uh, this is your opportunity to 
Uh, finally, uh, Milton Mo Junction is back, and uh, he had a bit of a layout update. Uh, looks like he's uh, doing a bit of uh, destruction on his layout, um, taking out some of the uh, lower sections. And I think he ran into some problems uh, because the lower sections were uh, built before the upper section. Uh, Brian Hughes has a fantastic video on using the Hornby Railmaster software and uh, goes through the uh, special uh, Christmas update which I believe is uh, version 1.63 and he discusses uh, signals and uh, various other extras. And then uh, finally on Thursday um, we had a, a newer modeler, uh, this is uh, West Coast, uh, the West Coast TMD and he's uh, getting ready to uh, sort of uh, build up this uh, new section to his uh, larger layout. So you might head on over there and uh, give him some advice. Uh, looks like he's uh, doing a pretty good job though, so um, let's hope he uh, sticks with it. And finally we had uh, Rails of Sheffield, uh, got a couple of uh, new Oxford diecast as well as some other models in, so it's uh, well worth uh, checking them out. And of course you can find them at uh, www.railsofsheffield.co.uk. And uh, Friday didn't have too many videos on YouTube uh, worth mentioning, but uh, Jeffrey Brains had a uh, fantastic uh, layout update uh, showing some of his uh, new Southern stock as well as the new uh, DJM um, Adams 02. So it's uh, well worth uh, checking his video out. He's a fantastic layout. And finally, uh, Simon uh, over at uh, newly christened uh, Liverton had uh, the final part of his uh, DC to DCC upgrade for his uh, class 90 and he did a fantastic job on the lights as well as a bit of a teaser for what he's going to be doing uh, lights on that uh, vehicle there beside the class 90 and then uh, finally uh, there's a bit of a uh, large shipment of uh, Bachman locomotives today into um, Hattons as you can see there a couple of wagons and some locos and of course those Hawksworth auto trailers are back in as well um, Helgen had a couple of new uh, Class 15s, as I mentioned that earlier, uh, including the uh, say, Coach Heat um, departmental liveried uh, loco, so uh, those might be a little unique and worth checking out. And of course, finally, uh, some Pico Track came in as well. And that wraps up the week. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, we appreciate it if you might subscribe to the Double O Rail channel. Uh, you can find the Double O Rail channel by going to uh, youtube.com slash Double O Rail 77 and clicking on the subscribe button. Uh, if that's a little hard to remember, you can also remember just to go to Double O Rail.com and you can find the channel that way as well. And we'd also appreciate it if we mentioned you in today's video and that you might either mention this video and the Double Rail channel on your YouTube channel or at least uh, share this video on various uh, social media, maybe to your friends, family, and uh, maybe some of your viewers. Uh, if you have a Facebook page, uh, go ahead and, and share the link to it. And uh, we just want to get uh, this video out to as many people as possible so that uh, all the YouTube mall railway uh, YouTubers uh, will benefit from it. And um, then that leads me on to the last bit, which is our uh, small business of the week, and it is Sawyer Models. Uh, they're located in uh, Earlstown in uh, Newton, uh, the Willows, maybe. I probably butchered that. Uh, you can find them at uh, Sawyer's SawyerModels.co.uk. Um, they seem to be reasonably priced, and of course they have the uh, shop front as well that seems to be relatively easy to get to. And of course this is part of our um, video series where we want to uh, kind of give back and do a little promotion to some of the smaller businesses. Uh, so uh, if you can send some business their way, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Um, but of course, uh, make sure that they're uh, competitive and uh, they're selling what you're looking for. So um, that's it for this week. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you want to submit something, please feel free to email it to locoshed at uh, You can find all the videos 
in the playlist, either through the cards here on the video or over on the uh, description below.